1974, Hunter S. Thompson was sent to Zaire, Africa by Rolling Stone to cover the Rumble in the Jungle, a boxing match between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. He took a bunch of acid, went hippo mode, and did not make the fight. Just passed out in the pool for like 10 to 12 hours. Well, today I'm in Qatar, and tonight is USA versus Iran. And I'm happy to report that I will be getting out of this pool. Listen, guys, I'm gonzo, but I'm not that gonzo. And tonight is a big match for us. If we win, we advance. And I know the US government hates the Iranian government, and the Iranian people hate the Iranian government. And I love the Iranian people. But tonight, we just need to focus on the field for 90 minutes and beat Iran. And uh, yeah, we came to this cruise ship yesterday around noon. My buddy Mitchell is staying on this cruise ship the entire time he's here for the World Cup. And he just invited me on for the day. Boat drinks! Holy shit, this is gonna be a boat drink, dude. We were supposed to leave around midnight. It is the following day around noon. Oh, look at this sunrise. I guess we can't go to bed now. Those boat drinks really sneak up on you. Boys in the band, all these boat drinks. Unfortunately, we are going to have to check out of this cruise ship pretty damn soon and uh, head from the ship to the shipping container. So that is gonna be uh, an unfortunate change of pace, but we're just gonna go there to drop our bags off. And then I think we're gonna check out the town and head to the game. They are literally gonna have to drag me off of this thing. Do you wanna go back to the shipping container? No, dude, this is perfect. Should we just wait until we're like escorted off this thing? I mean, the Iran game's not till 10 p.m. We were finally escorted off the boat and to kill time before the match, decide to check out the Falcon Market. You think I can get one into the stadium? Yes, I think you have to. I feel like worst comes to worst, just release the Falcons. Like if I see you run on a fast break, you could definitely train these things to like just attack soccer balls. Can I put one on my finger? More than touch for danger. Danger. If I wear a glove. Okay. How much? Fifty thousand. Mitchell, do you mind uh, doing the conversion rate? Thirteen thousand seven hundred thirty-two dollars. 13,000, okay, so that's like the price of like a Honda Civic, yeah? Base model. A, a base model, Honda Civic? I mean, this is way cooler than a Honda Civic. Can your Honda Civic go out hunting for you? No, unless you just run over people. Are you allowed to bring Falcons to the World Cup? World Cup. Can I bring him to FIFA? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. 13,000 is uh, a little above my price range. Do you have any cheaper Falcons? He did not, but another Falcon dealer sure did. One thousand and a half dollars. One thousand dollars? That's not 1, bad. One thousand five hundred. Okay. It's not expensive. No, no, no. That's uh, yeah. that's very reasonable for a Falcon. You are a YouTuber or? Yeah, but I'm also a uh, a Falcon aficionado. Can I bring it back to United States? Oh, yeah, you, can. you have. Uh, Import, you need to be make import sign Yes, yeah. just to make sure it, yeah. it doesn't have the bird and flu. That's fair. Take Falcon together with you. I mean, that guy's awesome. 1,500 is way more reasonable than uh, the other spot. I was confident I could find one for even cheaper though. How many real for the small one? 500. Guys, he's saying only 500 for that. I just don't know if it would clear security at the game and we're going directly to the game. Do you think we can bring into FIFA match? Yeah, no. It's only man. It's a small but for casing food. Okay. So maybe I could leave them in the storage locker? I feel like most Qataris would frown on me stuffing a live falcon in a storage locker for the entire US-Iran game. So I decided to see what other creatures I could find in the souk. I've heard they also have squirrels here. A squirrel has to be cheaper than a falcon, right? Sir, do you know where they have squirrels? Squirrel? I just want to know how to say it. I gotta, I think I have the Google Translate app. Do you know where I can find a... Sun Did they have here? No. 
People don't seem to know what I'm talking about. Never ask for a squirrel in a falcon market. I'm just gonna walk around with the word squirrel on my phone until we find a squirrel. Squirrel, 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 squirrel. I don't know how to be right. Do you know where I can find a shop that has a squirrel? Sinjab, yeah. Yeah. There is inside the soup. All right, guys, we go straight and right. Looking for a squirrel? Over there. Okay, over. Whoa, a parrot? It's kind of cooler than a squirrel. Wow. Folks, we are so close to the squirrels, I can smell them. Do you know if uh, any place has a son of Jabu? Yeah. Oh. oh, folks, we found the squirrels. They're all cuddling together. It's like a big um, heap of squirrels. How much? Very reasonable. Wow, they're very soft. Dude, they make a crazy sound. That's the coolest squirrel I've seen. These are not New England squirrels. I just, I would feel bad buying whatever animal here because then just right before the game, I'm gonna let it loose. I think if you let them loose, it's gonna get poached by a falcon within 15 minutes. So I don't think I'm gonna do an impulse buy here. All right, should we find some food? I should probably wash my hands first. I don't want squirrel flu. My squirrel purchase would have to wait for another day, as it was time to crush some grub and head to the stadium. USA had a football game to win. What do you think the outcome Iran, of the game? Iran, maybe draw. No draw tonight. <laughs> yes, I think draw. We are done with draws. We're going for the dub tonight. Iran, Iran, USA. Iran, Iran, USA, USA. USA! Holy shit! I did not know the Vuvuzuelas were back in fashion. My god! I already can't fucking hear. Oh! Iran's got more horns. That's just a fact. Iran has way more horns. Am I worried about that? No. You think a little fucking horn action is gonna get in the brains of our American players? Absolutely not. They've actually been practicing with those horn sounds for the last two months because they knew it was gonna come down to this game. Pelicic is the Prince of Persia tonight. One girl started chanting at the Iranians, woman like freedom. That was intense. It didn't, it didn't catch on, but um, I respect that. Normally, I pregame sporting events with booze because it takes the edge off, but the U.S. needs all the edge it can get tonight. That's why I'm pregaming with a Stella Blue. Is that an Electric Avenue? This is Electric Avenue, and we are on an Electric Avenue right now. Can I get a rip of the vape? Yeah, I would love to try it. Look at this, Iranians and Americans sharing vapes. Yeah, why not? <laughs> we just said. Iranian vapes are different. Do you think Iran will win today? I hope so. Yes, I think Iran's going to be playing with a lot of heart, but the U.S. knows a thing or two about heart, too. Thank you for the vape. Yeah, that thing, that thing hits. Really expected the Iranians to look a lot more like Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh. Sir, can I try blowing your horn? No homo? I'm a little late. Hey, that was kind of fun. Why isn't the U.S. pumping those out in U.S. colors? How did this become a fucking Iranian thing? That's messed up. All right, no, I'm not as good. I didn't come here to blow horns, okay? We came here to get gold. Let's see if I learned this right. Your thobe is Qatari. Your thobe is 
Saudi? No. No? I'll give you a tip. Once you see this tail, it's a Qatari. All right. If it's got the rat tail, if it's got that. It's definitely a Qatari. Okay, all right. Good to know. I was, get, I, was getting conf I was getting confused. Are you guys rooting for USA or Iran tonight? We'll just see to enjoy A fun game? A fun, a fun game? game. It's, it's a okay. USA! 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 Now let's do the YMCA! Apparently it's Donald Trump's favorite song. You can bring out the boys. We can have a good time. You can hang out in the locker room. We're gonna go to the YMCA. We're gonna go to the YMCA. This was no time to be going to the YMCA, though. It was time to go to work. Two Bud Zimmies, please. Pass completion good? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a straight up A. That's not even an A minus. But pass completions don't win you football games. This is it, folks. This is the drive. This is the drive that changes the game. <laughs> Pulisic had put us on the board. If we could just maintain this lead all second half, we'd be officially out of the group phase. My buddy married a Persian. His in-laws are fuming right now. Sorry about that, Rick Calusi. Today may not be your day. Oh wow, a lot of, a lot of splashback. I think I'm using the child's urinal. How do you think about the game so far? You think? You think uh, USA is gonna pull it off? Good talk. Let's do this. One more half. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, PFT. Oh, sorry. I I thought you were my friend, PFT. Dap it up for Wes Welker, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Bro. Let's yeah. go. Hell yeah. Love Welker. One more half. I'm not gonna get cocky. My cameraman Michelangelo had somehow gotten much better seats than me, and for a game this important. There was no way I was staying up in the nosebleeds. I gotta try to get down. I'm gonna try to, to get down to Michelangelo. I better not get locked out of the game. Level one, level one, level one. This is good, this is good. Section 118, section 118, thank you. Yo, did it baby, I got down. I just had Michelangelo send me a screenshot of his ticket and I just showed it to people. Let's go. Oh yeah, this is quite the upgrade. Let's go baby, one more half. Holy shit, that's a big ass hat. Let's go baby, one more half. 
and then eternity. Yes! Yes! Come on! Oh, no! Go to hit it right to him! We're putting on the pressure. I don't want to see the ball on that side of the field this whole half. Play some D. Play some D! USA! USA! The crowd was hype in the second half. We even tried getting the wave going. <laughs> Dude, that section is out to lunch. You guys ever been to a beach before? It's called the way. Oh my god. That was anticlimactic. We are officially in the fourth quarter. One more quarter and we are through. We're a fourth quarter team. I've always said that. Come on. Come on. Yes! Thank you, Turner. Step up for America, Turner. Come on. Oh! Oh! Get it! Go! Get it! Get it! Go! go. Oh, holy shit! I was laser focused on the action when all of a sudden this American fan started yelling at me to sit down. Hey, hey, sit down, sit down! Relax, sit down, sit down! Relax, dude, it's a big fucking game! You can stand up! My first instinct was to listen to him as I didn't even have a ticket for this section. Then I remembered this was a do or die match for the US. And that guy could go fuck himself. USA! 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 10 seconds till we got 90 minutes on the clock, and then I'm thinking maybe 10 minutes of stoppage time. We can do this. We're in the fifth quarter now. It's the end game. Oh! Holy shit. That's out. That's out. That's out. Get that out. Get that out, boy! Yes. Rob, can you please just call again? USA! 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 Game called. USA was moving on. Listen, the first game against Wales, that was an unfortunate second half. We should have won that game. But PMT came to town and he got us to draw against England. And then every single USA fan in this building got us the dub tonight and we are moving on. Just beat Iran. The U.S. is advancing in the group phase. There's only one thing you can do at a moment like this, and that is take out the offer ride. <laughs>